I'm, I'm Dan Lucius, co-founder of Skin is the New Diesel. Skin is the New Diesel concept uh, came to me and my friend TJ while we were still in grad school. We were extremely skinny. And just one day we came across a video of Terry Crews and uh, my wife and kids. You all remember the show, my wife and kids. So we were watching this video and Terry Crews' character was just so he was just so decent, telling Damon Wine's character to go ahead and fill his chest up. And that was amazing. We were all try, always trying to go to the gym and get diesel, get pumped up, or it just never happened. So we decided, since we're both extremely skinny, we, let's just be diesel. Yes. So what is skinny is the new diesel? What does that mean? Skinny is the new diesel, just as I said. You're skinny, you want to be diesel, it's all in the mind. Skinny is the new diesel. So diesel is just a state of mind. Um, anybody can be diesel, you know, your, your little brother, your little five-year-old brother, skinny as he is, he can be diesel. Your chubby new baby brother, he can be diesel too. Your grandmother can be diesel. <laughs> yes, she can, yes. It's just a state of mind. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that delicious. This takes me back. Um, while I was in my first my um, electronics lab, a friend of mine, he's from, he's from Mali. He grew up in Senegal. He gave me the name Dabalicious. And that's from the Fergalicious son. Also, another friend of mine, the big sister, Miss Ayana, AG, yeah. She also coined the name Dabalicious for me from um, the cartoon Punda. Being, being Nigerian that I am, I'm a Yoruba person. Um, we, don't, we don't really have that much names, only eight of them. Yeah, I, I have only eight. What about in America? Like, what do your um, close friends call you? Oh, my Other than Dominicious oh, and wow, Dominator. Wow. I don't know if I should put this out there. But, well, my, my, my close friends do call me Dami. So, I suppose it would be a Really difficult task for them to say who are Dami Lola. Yeah, so they just go ahead and call me Dami. Oh, this, um, you know, you have to think about the Batman very often. Whenever he dons on the Batman costume, he just instantly gets a deep voice. I am, however, different. I, I am always, I am always the Batman. Yes, I'm a walking dubstep drop. That's, that's what I am. Yes, the, the deep voice is just, is just Nigerian. You're African, right? Yes, yes, I'm Nigerian. You're Nigerian? Yes. Um, how's the Nigerian prince doing? Um, I beg your pardon? The Nigerian prince, the one that sends the emails out. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> I, I gave him five dollars. He said that, um... You actually gave him five dollars? He, he seemed respectable enough. Oh, wow. I seen this he, picture on the, on the Facebook. Okay. You, you saw the Nigerian prince's picture on the face. Yeah, it said Nigerian prince. Did he have a, did he have a Nigerian cap? Uh, I, um, all Nigerian princes look alike, I'm sorry. Wow, wow. Yeah, it's all about being Chinese. Wow. Um, no, no, no. Uh, there is no particular Nigerian prince. Like, Nigeria's rule, um, we have a president. Mm -hmm. There are various kings of different tribes, of different cities or towns or villages but we don't have the Nigerian prince. We have a musician called Ice Prince though and another musician called the Prince but no precise Nigerian prince. Okay, so um have you ever heard the expression uh, African booty scratcher? No, I'm unfamiliar with that. Um the assumption is that most Africans are um African booty scratchers. Um case in point, are you African? Yes, I'm African. And have you scratched um, an African booty before? I don't know how to answer that. I mean, I've scratched my booty. <laughs> I I don't know about scratching other people's booties. I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Wait, you're African though, right? Yes, I'm African. And you scratched yes. your own African booty, right? Yes, I've scratched my own booty, yes. Just want that clarification. Therefore, you are an African booty scratcher. Well, if you say so, I, I'm not the one making the rules here. If, 
you say I'm an African booty scratcher. I, I'm an African. I scratch my booty. I, okay, you African booty scratcher. Sure. Um. So who has bigger booties, Nigerian women or the women over here? Oh wow. Um, man. I, I, you know, I just came back from Nigeria. There are some amazing booties in Nigeria. <laughs> yes, there are. Yes, there are. I mean, over here, there's so many people of different ages, different origins, but there it's really concentrated. You have a collection of concentrated, lovely African booties. Okay. Yes. Uh, South African girls also have pretty, pretty nice booties as well. Ghanaian, I hear Ghanaian girls. Oh, yeah, well. I heard that too. Yes. yes. Hey, are they, are they ratchet in Nigeria? Wow, wow, are they ratchet in Nigeria? This this takes me back to when I was at a at a particular club one night and wow this this ratchet song just came up and all the girls just went crazy. I had to I was thinking, am I am I truly in Nigeria? It was it was strange to imagine because everyone just got all the girls just got crazy. It was amazing. How can Nigerians be this? Yes, yes, there are ratchet. There are ratchet people in Nigeria. Right now, we're just trying to make comedic scenes. Me and my other partner, CJ. Uh, but eventually, in the long run, we want to be able to make designer skin is the new diesel outfits. We want to be able to teach kids out there to stay in school and know that skinny is really diesel. Um, want to transfer our words to African kids out there, starving African kids, you know that. It's it's not okay if you're starving right now, don't worry with time. You're also gonna get diesel and starving is not gonna matter anymore. So yeah, um at this point it's just it's just supposed to be comedic. A couple of guys with their friends doing things in their free time. So soon enough we'll we'll get our message of being a diesel out there. We'll let people know that everybody can be diesel. Yes, not only not only the diesel. And uh, do African booties feel like normal butts? What do you mean normal? I mean African African butts are, are pretty normal as well. Yeah. What makes them more yeah, I what makes them normal? What makes them so normal? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm good with the it's normal food, is it? Yeah, I tell you they're normal. Thank so, you for your time. So. Yeah, sure, sure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.